the man, the myth, the legend in his own mind. <laughs> hey everybody. We're working today. Well. Sort of. We're in the shop. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Master Sergeant is making something for me. <laughs> I ain't figured out what it is yet. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm cutting blades. <coughs> Give me. And that was a nice piece of leather. Yeah, it was. That was that last piece of that little one we had up on top. Yeah. We've been to town today, and I have resupplied. Got all kinds of stuff. <coughs> Pardon me. And then get this weather. He's actually making me a sheath like this, a side draw for my buck, well that's his buck knife, for my buck knife, and we'll show it to you when it gets all done. I'm roughing blades, I've got one, two, three, four, five so far, and I've got about five more to go. <coughs> and uh, Master Sergeant's drinking beer, you know, he can't take him anywhere. <laughs> What? <laughs> I didn't think you heard me. Mike, well, oh, you're talking about that can sitting there? That can's my spit can. Oh, that's a spit can. Okay. All right. We'll go with that. Spit can. <laughs> well, good Saturday morning. Yesterday, it was in the 80s, uh, when Master Sergeant was here, we had the air conditioner on in the shop all day. And what a difference a cold front makes. Two, four, six, forty-six degrees. <laughs> About a, I guess three thirty, four o'clock. The wind started blowing. It started getting cool. It rained some. Turned off the AC. Opened up the doors and windows in the shop. And it got colder and colder and colder and colder. And I'm shivering this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna get inside. I'm not gonna turn the heat on yet. It's not quite cold enough for that. Feels very good. I've uh, got quite a bit of knife work to do. Work on the next few days. Uh, things are picking up. Thank you all very much. Uh, what else was I going to say? I was talking to a, a scout leader. I don't know if he's a scout master or... Anyway, he's one of the fathers in a scout troop. I was asking about some knives for the kids. Now, if you have, what is that? Oh, that's a cat. If you um, are involved in a scout group, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, whichever, a church group, uh, the one up here that's got the Royal Rangers, anything like that where it's involving kids and you want to get knives for all of them, you um, just let me know and we'll talk about it in private. And I will um, do something like a group rate. You won't pay, depending on the knife, you won't pay full price for each and every knife, you know, if you need multiples for groups like this. Because I do believe in teaching kids, you know, about knives, how to use knives, how to respect them. And I know that's a big thing for a lot of the, the scout troops and all that. Was when I was in, anyway. Now my grandkids are just now getting big enough to where I can start teaching them that. Even though they live on either side of me, and I see them coming and going all the time, we don't get to spend that much time with them because they're always going. They got school, they got church, they got everything. They go, my kids and grandkids go more than we ever did when I was growing up, and way more than I ever did when my kids was coming up. So they just go, go, go all the time. But I want to mention that right quick. Um, scout leaders and all that kind of stuff, just let me know. And we will, just send me an email is the best way to do it. And then we'll email or either we'll talk on the telephone. Now I got to get inside, folks. It's freezing out here in this wind. Uh, we'll see something in the shop here in just a little All right, got in out of that cold wind. It, uh, we actually have a wind chill this morning. Wind chill feels like in the upper 30s. 
not complaining I like it I just can't stay out in it <laughs> all right master sergeant worked some overtime last night helped me out roughed out some sheaths and got blades are roughed out and I've got a lots and lots of work to do today if mama don't grab me and make me go to the the crazy Walmart but maybe not all right the rattlesnake skin camp knife is sold sold this morning and I'm making a, a extra sheath to go with it and I'll show you that when it gets done and what else oh, I was gonna show y'all my sheath that master sergeant made for me yesterday that we was talking about can't see if we can see it I got it on this morning Oh, excuse my belly. There we go. I have a, he stamped me a coon, a raccoon, in my initials. This is my Buck 110. Fits in there really tight. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if you have a existing knife that you want this type of sheath for it, uh, let me know. If it is a 110, I don't need the knife, but if you have one, just send me your knife and we'll talk about it and I'll make you your sheath. Or Master Sergeant will make it for you. One of us will do it. So now I'm looking like him. Got a knife here. Got a knife here. I got a knife here. Did I ever show you all my new pocket knife? My buddy Eric... Y'all think I'm a knife nut. This guy loves knives. Uh, he brought me this one. A few weeks ago. Case Mini Trapper. If I don't cut my finger. Because I sharpened it up. Owned it really nice. Because I've been needing a good good pocket knife. And I don't make pocket knives. And my little Victor Knox. With the army shield I have misplaced. I have a very good one that belonged to my father that I'm scared to carry because I almost lost it one time. So, I'm knifed up and also have Pop Pop that I carry. I named all my, <laughs> I'm just rambling here. I've got Pop Pop, Bang Bang, Shotguns or Boom Booms. And my rifle I named, if I can see you, you're not far enough away. <laughs> Thought that was funny. All right, let me get to work. Now that I'm warmed up, finish this coffee and maybe have something finished up today. We'll see. All right, let's close out the video for today. It is almost 11 o'clock uh, Saturday night. I know I have not been out here all day. I went in earlier this afternoon and took a nap. Had some supper. And then I came back out. <laughs> I have some sheaves glued up. And pardon me, but I'm about shivering again. It's cold. It is in the 40s. Yes, that's cold for me. But I like it. It's okay. And I got the uh, some blades ready for etching tomorrow. And uh, let me show you all this if I can get through without shivering too much. I'm telling you, it's cold. I had a question about a old hickory mod modification. I didn't forget you. This I'm going to show you a old hickory that I did for me uh, a good while back. Now this one hasn't been taken care of. It's been in the drawer. But that is a real old hickory butcher knife. What I did, I modified it, cut part of it off, and that will work for 
a good kitchen knife or a good bushcrafted knife. If I now I took the handles off, had wood handles on it. I put stag handles on it. This one has hickory liners, uh, brass pins. Uh, is that something like you was asking about? Something like that? Um, this one is could very, very well be, you know, a good kitchen knife or a bushcraft knife. So if that's something like you're interested in, let me know. If you want bigger, I know where I can get a bigger old hickory or I can fabricate one. Now this is a sheath that I made for it. So let me know what you think. I didn't forget you though. I'm sorry that I didn't get back to you sooner. But uh what you think about that? I think I'm about to freeze, that's what I think. <laughs> All right, I'm going in, and I'm going to get warm, and I'm going to go to sleep, and I will see y'all for maybe about an hour tomorrow in the shop, and then we have a family fun day, and another one, because it is, hang on, it is Ricky Jr.'s birthday tomorrow, and we're having a party for him. And everybody's going to be here, so y'all get to see everybody. Once again, I apologize. I'm shivering. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> and I thank you for watching. I thank you for your support. And I will see y'all next week. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to say, too, I got a couple more orders in today. Uh, if you have a Christmas order, please get it in now got a couple more today plus all these one of them is a very big one and it's going to take me a long time to do not a long time but um it's going to take me a good while to do it so time is getting short already christmas orders get them in here quick as you can and i would appreciate it all right thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.